Okay, so if you were outside this weekend, then you probably noticed the cicadas were out too, in full force, dive bombing people, cars, and seemingly buzzing as loud as they possibly could. I wouldn't say buzzing, I would say singing, right? Yeah. You know, it, that's what it is. It's a big chorus. So, is this it? Have we reached the peak? Well, joining me now is Mike Raup, better known as the Bug Guy, with the University of Maryland. He's also known for having the best backdrop ever, um, and we love seeing you and your big cicada. And so, yes, everybody, this was all the rage, everybody talking about it. If, if you hadn't seen the cicadas before or hadn't heard them, you probably felt one ping you, felt one or two ping you uh, this past weekend. So is this it? Have, have we peaked? Yeah, we've peaked, but uh, this is not, it's kind of that kind of a peak. So everybody is up and out of the ground right now. All three species are out. They're up in the treetops. It's simply biology right now, gang. Uh, the warmer the temperature is, and we've had some really hot days this past week, the louder they're going to sing. It's simply a lot of teenage hot romance up in the treetops right now. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I was going to ask you because I saw a video, and I don't know. It looked like they were playing tug of war. We had one cicada going east, one going west. They were attached, though, it looked like through their, their tail ends. Um, yeah. So is that, did I witness a mating? And it, does it happen on the ground, or is it only up in the trees? It happens everywhere, and you did witness They're a nasty. mating. Wow. And, you know, they just do things a little bit differently than, let's say, most of us. Let's put it <laughs> that way. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're going to do some of that, no question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they definitely were not shy. Uh, so my other question is, because we have a ton. I, I live out in the woods in sure. Northern Virginia, and I could not help but notice the enormous amount of shells at the bottom of these trees. I mean, is this something where we just let them go? Will they just dispose on themselves? Or is yeah. this something where we should try to recycle them or, or whatnot? Nope. No, great question. Uh, these, these cicadas in their shells are actually going to recycle themselves. What we know from scientific study is this is a tremendous nutrient pulse back into our ecosystems that actually some of the plants and the microbial community that helps sustain our plants are actually going to benefit enormously by this. Ooh. So just let them be in place. Uh, they're going to recycle all their own. You don't have to worry about it. And at this stage of the game, it's going to be beneficial for lots of other microbial communities and other creatures that help to recycle, frankly, dead things. So we're going to have a lot of dead things here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. And so that brings me to my next question as we, we wrap up real quick. Um, when do you foresee them, them disappearing? Um, I know some people want to know that. And is it a matter of those that survive, they, they dive back into the ground? I mean, how does that work? What's next? Yeah, great questions. Yeah, uh, we'll see. They'll be gone, fundamentally gone over the next two or three weeks, certainly by the 4th of July. It's going to quiet down. The last survivors will have their way. Now, what they're going to do now, what they're doing in the treetops right now, in addition to mating, is they're moving out to small twigs where they're going to lay their eggs in what we call egg nest 20 to 30. Each female can lay 400 to 600 eggs. And then sometime in July and August, those eggs are going to hatch and those tiny nymphs are going to tunnel. They're going to, excuse me, they're going to drop to the ground. Then they're going to tunnel beneath the earth. They're going to find the roots of plants and sadly go back to a COVID-like existence for the next 17 years, social distancing and wearing a, a mask of soil. So <laughs> we're not going to see them again until 2038. Hey. At least we know they'll be safe. So uh, it is so phenomenal to think about the entire process, and we appreciate you uh, helping us all along the way. Happy cicada season. Thanks so much. Thanks, always.